Welcome to Dinner with the Hares. Tonight we're going to do a chicken and rice dish. So we're going to start with our Insta Pot. We're going to hit saute. Um, we're going to uh, let it preheat for a minute and a half. I'll take a little EVOO, put it in. And then we're going to uh, salt and pepper our boneless, skinless chicken thighs. A little salt. Liberal. Pepper. All right, and we have this going to heat up, and then we're going to cook our chicken. We're going to cook it on five minutes on one side, get a nice crisp to it. We're going to turn it over and let that cook for three minutes. So we're going to get this started. We'll get the chicken in. We'll check back in. All right, we got our preheat. We're going to use a separate set of tongs that we only touch the raw chicken. We're using a disposable plate. That way there's no cross-contamination. So we're going to take our salt and pepper side and then put that side down onto the Instapot. You can hear that sizzle. go and we're going to get rid of the tongs and the plate and we come back in get the back side of that chicken liberally with a nice salt and pepper and again we're going to do three minutes on one uh, the well five minutes on the first side three minutes on the second side we'll see you in a bit all right so it's almost five minutes you see that we like to use a splash guard here, making sure it uh, helps clean up just a little bit. Let's see, we got our chicken cooking in really good. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our chicken. Be careful because the whole instant pot is hot on the outside of the rim here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a little crust there. It's okay if it sticks. We're going to cook it on the other side and then deglaze the pan. Get this all turned over here. We got about one more. Everything's overturned here. And now we're going to let that cook for about three minutes. And we're back. See how our chicken thighs are doing. We're going to take them out, set them aside. It's okay that they're not cooked all the way through. They're going to still get cooked more. And this is just a little over a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. that set aside. Now we're going to add a little more olive oil. We're going to add a third of a cup of chicken stock to deglaze. Careful, it's hot. And we're going to add deglaze a little bit here. Get all that goodness. chicken thigh essence, if you will. All right, so we're gonna add two shallots, two cloves of garlic, four carrots, and two cups of mushrooms. 
we're going to let this saute for three minutes. And what we're going to do next is we're going to start putting all together the bulk of it. And then we're going to get it into the pressure cooker. So right now we're just going to let it saute for about three minutes. And I'll mix it up and I'll be back and we'll get finished. Okay, we have our saute and deglaze done. We're going to add a cup and a half more of broth, which is going to take care of the rest of our liquids. I'm going to add a little parsley and a little hot shot because, you know, my hot wife and I like to kick it up a notch. We're going to add a cup and a half of washed and dried rice. We're going to get that mixed up a bit. Uh, I really wish we had smell vision. All right. Now we're going to add our chicken thighs back on top. I know, Toby, doesn't it smell delicious? And we're going to add our juice back in, all of that goodness. All right. All right, so we have that set up. Now. We're going to do a manual. I'm going to bring it down to 10 minutes. We're going to make sure it is on steam um, to collect our pressure. So it's going to come up to pressure, then it's going to cook for 10 minutes. Now, some like, uh, unlike some of the other dishes we'll do, this we do not do a venting. This does just a standard release. So it's going to take about 15, 20 minutes after it's cooked to naturally release the steam and we will see you when that's ready. All right, you see it's all zeros now. It's off cooking, and now we're gonna let it naturally cool down, um, and it'll decrease in pressure, and just a natural release. Okay, see it's been about 24 minutes since we've turned it off. We're gonna open her up. All right, still got a little bubbling. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred the chicken. So now we're gonna take our chicken thighs out as they fall apart. meat really does fall right apart but what we're gonna do we're gonna separate the meat out take this opportunity to shred everything up and you can see how tender everything is it just falls apart Kind of like doing a pulled pork, only it's pulled chicken. All right. Well, we're just giving that. A little. That should be good. All right. We're gonna add this back in. I'm gonna take the lid off. Set this aside. And we're going to add our chicken back in. And we're going to give this a good mixing. You'll see it looks like it's got some brown stuff, but it's picking up all the stuff, all that stuff from deglazing the pan. together 
And there we have chicken and inst uh, chicken thighs and rice in the Instapot. Thanks for joining us.